of connection to you be all the glory in the name of Jesus thank you father for the manifestation of your almightiness thank you father for the manifestation of your words in miracles in signs and in wonders on this prayer altar in the name of Jesus father we ask of God that we ask for your awesome, palpable, feelable, and visible presence in our midst. And we ask for God that your glory be seen and your power be felt in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, your, your, uh, Psalm, Psalm 89 and verse 21. Psalm 89 verse 21. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. Have I anointed him? Open your mouth and begin to appreciate for God's servant. And ask that God anoint him afresh for today's commanding today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we prayed. Please give a call to your friends, your loved ones, and let them be connected. Give a God a shout of praise as we welcome the praise team to take us further. Somebody excited to see the fourth month in the year 2024. Give the Lord a smile. Ay, 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 ay. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. We praise your name, O oh Lord. We give you all the praise. You are worthy. You are we praise your name, O oh Lord. We give you all the praise, Jesus. We praise your name, O oh Lord. We give you all the praise, Yahweh. You are worthy, 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 worthy. We praise your name, O oh Lord. We give you all the praise, Jesus. Oh. You are worthy. You are worthy. For the victory that you gave, for standing by our side, Jesus. Oh. For the victory, 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 Yahweh. Ay, ay, ay. Everybody say, Oh Lord, thank you. 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 We are grateful for your message. We are grateful. Thank you. Oh Lord, thank you. So we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Baba, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. 
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For your goodness and your mercy. For your protection, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. You say, two, four, seven, every day you come, you come through for me. Oh, yeah. You showed up for me. Two for seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I had no worse. Come on now. Say, what did I do to deserve this kind of love? What did I do to see that? What did I do?
Sí, sí, sí. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name. Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, we ask that every gang up of hell against commanding the day midnight prayers scatter. Now, open your mouth and pray. Every gang up scatter. Let us such a fetter so Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, we demand that every system and equipment complies to your move and your work and your agenda and your plan tonight. We decree, we demand that all systems comply now. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name. Amen. The Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. I'd like you to know wherever you are watching right now that the devil is in trouble. Amen. And the devil is in, in fear. Amen. And the devil is under very, very serious panic. Amen. But whatever the devil fears tonight will happen to him. Amen. The fear of the devil, the fear of the witches and the fear of the wizards shall happen to them. Amen. If you believe that, shall the Lord say amen. amen. We are going to take the first segment of testimonies. Dr. Miss Blakey and Angel can come forward very quickly and let us take the first segment of testimonies. Give the Lord a praise Lord in celebration as we take your seat. What a mighty God we serve. Somebody shout hallelujah. Please you may be seated wherever you are. We are going to go right ahead. And um, no devil will stop your miracle today or this month in the name of Jesus Christ. A few testimonies and we proceed. Uh, just for you to understand, a little issue here, but it's been sorted out and you are alive. Praise God. Wake your friends, your sisters, anybody that dropped their phone because they didn't see the prayer. Just check up on them that they are back online. Testimony from Sister Z from Zaria says, good, good day commanding the day midnight prayer family. God of wonders has done it for her and she has come to return all the glory to him. She joined the commanding the day midnight prayer last year, December. She was diagnosed with a kidney problem, fibroid and ovarian cyst last year. 
the fibroid and the cyst surgeries took place the 9th of January. While in the hospital, her husband and her continued joining the commanding day midnight prayer, and her personal supplication was for God to clear the kidney queries and the fruit of the womb. She was discharged from the hospital on the 16th of January, 2024. And on one of the days after the personal supplications, senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche declared, kidney problems arrested. She shouted, Amen. And her appointment with the doctor was on the 8th of March. She went to the hospital on that day. Hey, the doctor could not find the kidney problem. He said, what happened? God has done that which no man could, can do. She doesn't take this for granted. To God be all the glory forevermore. He who started this good work in her will accomplish it with more testimonies. God bless the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. Brenda Insen from Cameroon says, praise God above only that is her place. Greetings to the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. We give God all the glory for marital breakthroughs. For many years now, they have been trusting God for marital breakthrough. And each time they take a step of wanting to go ahead with their wedding, they will start experiencing lack of funds and dryness to the extent that they might even lack what to eat. This year, one of their prayer points was for them to get married. Things were moving well till they set a date for wedding. Then every dime they had they had saved before then, started vanishing. They have been connecting to the commanding day midnight prayer since last year, 2023, and knew that God would not fail them. Their wedding, their wedding date was set for the 10th of February, and it was already around the corner, but no fun. So they pushed the wedding further by one week. And within those days, their word came. Senior pastor says he sees marital breakthroughs. They claimed it and kept trusting God for intervention and believing that this new date will not be postponed again. And to God be the glory, on the 17th of February, the girl wedded. They give God all the praise for what he has done and they know that they will come back to share more testimonies in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Jonathan Mapie from United Arab Emirates says he wants to appreciate God for what he has done in his life. On the 6th of February, he lost his job due to false accusation and conspiracy. The principal of his school and the HR misrepresented the truth and fast tracked three warnings in a period of two weeks so as to get him sacked after a student stabbed another. What they did and wrote rendered it virtually impossible for him to find another job in that system, but not to our God. On the 20th last 21st of March, the man of God mentioned a case, his case on conspiracy. And on the 28th of March, in the same system, he, his job... In he mentioned the same, his job on the 28th. His in case of conspiracy okay. and mentioned his case on conspiracy on the 28th. His job in the same system was confirmed after the mention on the 20th, 21st. On the 28th, he got another job and it was confirmed in the same system. Glory be to God. If you listen to the declaration, you will know that this testimony is in progress. He will come back again. Hallelujah. Declaration video attached. Are we able... Somebody that lost a job by false accusation and conspiracy, they did, did, did until they suck you. False accusation, conspiracy... This is your word. Here, one. God is going to either restore you to the job where they release you from by removing the people that remove you, or secondly, he will give you a position, a new position in a job that will give that will put to shame those who brought you out. I don't know why he opened two doors. <laughs> Maybe there are many people in this category and one of them will be returned back to their job and the other one will be given an opening, opening, opening that will give you until the people that sucked you will be looking for your services in your new job. I prophesy to everyone hearing me, every conspiracy from the pit of hell around your life, the conspiracy is broken. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, let's look at one more testimony. 
testimony from Florence in Nairobi, Kenya. She says, greetings to the commanding the day, midnight prayer family. She has been having serious high blood pressure for over 25 years, and she takes a tablet daily. She has never, ever imagined that this malady would one day live her life. Keep going. Uh, actually, she has been asking God to get a midnight forum for prayer. And she stumbled on the commanding the day midnight prayers late last year, which was an answered prayer. Interestingly, what brought her to the commanding the day midnight prayers in particular, that particular day was her career. No job, financial restoration, and to pray for her husband who has cancer of the prostate and failing kidneys. Then, bam! Senior pastor mentioned about blood pressure being cleared out of the system in early March on two occasions, and she grabbed it and believed it, and she was healed. Brethren, she was instantly healed and felt the pressure that is majorly in the head instantly leave her. And she has not felt it another time. It's gone back to hell forever in Jesus' name. She has not taken a single pill since then and feels so fresh. Pastor also on one occasion said that they must continue holding and praying on any word that applies to their lives pronounced on the altar. And she has held on to the burning to hell of snail spirits. Snails are all over her house, mostly on the outside. And one day she was praying with her son and a snail just fell, not sure from where, on the floor at the room. She threw it out. Monitoring wall geckos, cobwebs also have been making her life stagnate and causing delay and near success syndrome in her life, despite many opportunities, hence causing serious accumulation of debts. She is now, therefore, holding on to the spoken word by senior pastor Edenche for the release of her destiny, financial restoration, and rest as she thanks God for her new health status. Karibo Kenya, sir. Karibo Kenya, sir. Uh, Amma. Amma. Tukatarai, meaning we are ready. Praise Karibu the Lord. Karibo Kenya. Welcome to Kenya, sir. Amma. Karibo Tarai, <laughs> meaning we are ready. Um, there is a segment of this testimony of Miss Florence from Kenya where she indicated, I don't know if the media has it right now that she's a member of parliament for 10 years. The person testifying from 2013 to 2022. Hallelujah. Celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Show me, show me, show me. Show me, show me. Show, show me, 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 Give the Lord a praise. Please wake somebody up and let them know that we are about to pursue, overtake, and recover all. Take your seat one minute. Do we have a segment? That's other segment of testimony, so I'm to go to the end. Okay, we we we. So where is the second segment? Is, sec is that the first segment? Can we go to the second segment now? All right, very quickly. Sister China is from Lagos. Above only, that's my place. I joined Command the Day Midnight Prayer on the 18th of March, 2024, when my elder sister called me to join the prayer. I immediately joined. And on one of these nights, nice senior pastor made a declaration that he takes authority over every spiritual husband, and I claimed it. After the prayer, I went back to my sleep, and I had a dream where the spiritual husband told me that he's going back to his mother in the village. <laughs> and I asked him why. He said that I had mentioned some nights ago that I will never marry him again. Praise the Lord Almighty for delivering me from this wicked spirit husband, spirit that has dealt with me both physically and spiritually. I'm free forever in Jesus' name. Amen. 
everyone who is a victim of such, you are free forever in Jesus' name. And then I, Eli Akubu from Sokoto, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm free, a free man, but always feeling like I am in the cage. I was going through a lot with, within my spirit, always having bad dreams. I'm feeling like when I go to sleep, I will not wake up again. Wow. I have prayed and fasted, but nothing has changed. And nothing is working in my life, on, not until 19th March, 2024. While the prayer was going on, Senior Pastor just mentioned my name direct. And he mentioned everything that is going on with my life. I said, wow, this God is so, so powerful. And since then, I regained my freedom. And my prayer life has drastically improved. Glory be to God. I earlier come from Sokoto. Declarations. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to Yakubu as well. When God has laid his hands on you, the devil cannot lay his finger on you. Hey, I speak to you today. That finger of the devil on your life, whether it has come in form of an affliction in your body, or it has come in form of a, a, a garment of shame or reproach, or the spirit of death, I declare it roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout glory. Everyone whose condition is like that, your freedom is here in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go. Testimony MAO from Ibadan. Above only, that is my place. I want to give the glory to God by giving this testimony. I miraculously came across Commanded Day Midnight Prayers on YouTube two weeks ago. And I started joining for prayers. I pray that I didn't just want to be it to be another kind of online prayers. Wow. I prayed that I didn't just want it to be another kind of online prayers. Really? How are the kind of online prayers? <laughs> But I want to testify as well after listening to some of the testimonies. I had a very okay. I had a very excruciating pain that always comes from the left side. On top of the left thigh, above the buttocks and the waist. Okay. It will be it will keep on increasing and then radiates to the back. The diagnosis was given, given was spondylosis. Once it comes, it won't go until I am giving some painkillers in form of injection. This has been on for about five years. And getting worse. It, had, it has affected my daily activities. In my workplace, they have identified me with this condition by attaching my, my name to it when they are describing me. It has affected me a lot that I won't be able to eat and I have lost some weight as well because of this condition. During the commanded day midnight prayers on the 25th slash 26th of March, the man of God, Pastor Paul, and then mentioned my case by commanding whatever arrow. Rheumatism, arthralgia, arthritis, spondylosis, arrest, and retrieved, and referred back to hell in the name of Jesus Christ. I shouted, Amen. Since then, I have, I have not had any of such pain again until eternity. Hallelujah. Declaration video attached. On top of the left thigh, above the buttock, on the waist there, whatever arrow is there, what, whether it's arthralgia, arthritis, rheumatism, whatever it is, spondylosis, whatever it is, I arrest it right now, I retrieve it, and refire it back to hell in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. And then let's go to the next one. This is Mrs. JJ from Abuja. Good evening, commanding the day, midnight prayer team, above all, that is my place. I've come to testify to the goodness of God in my life and family. During the 26th of March, 2024, seven hours prayer and fasting. Hmm. I asked God to put my words in the mouth of his servant. And he did it during the declaration. God's servant mentioned my name. Janice. Wow. That borrowing and begging is over in your life. Higher. That has been my family's exact situation lately. I shouted amen. And in the dream of the night, we became so rich that I even have a driver driving me around and protecting me from someone that wanted to harm me. Thank you, Jesus. The re reality shall manifest. Amen. Secondly, in one of the nights, a word, of, a word for my niece came. My niece of almost 18 years stayed with me, joined me that night. She bedwets, and that has been a thing of concern to us. God, someone mentioned our case of bedwetting, and from that day till eternity, the spirit of bedwetting has gone back to hell where it came from. Thank you, Jesus, for all you did for us. Declaration video attached. I'm hearing some strange names. Janice, J A N I C E. Koka balafe teni no torala. Leteken krotosi makalaviste. That plate that the devil put in your hand, 
that is a plate of bacon, a plate of borrowed, a plate of indebtedness. I set it on fire hey. in the name of Jesus. You will run from pillar to post and pillar to post and trying to pursue this and pursue that and nothing goes through. I declare your freedom right now. Everyone in this category, every plate of begging the devil has put in your hand, I declare it set on fire. You will run from pillar to post looking for direction and looking for breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand up on your feet and again wake somebody up. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Job chapter 10 and in verse 12, the Bible said, Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation has preserved my spirit. Preserved my spirit. Psalm 118 verse 24. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Please pray with all the brutality we possess. Don't rush to sleep from this prayer tonight. The devil knows what is ahead for him. And that is why it interrupted us with all the signal things and so forth. Now lift your voice and say, Father. Father. Thank you, Thank you for this dawn of, of a new day, new month, new month. and new quarter. A new quarter. Thank, you Thank you for the gift, for the gift of, life of life and breath that made that possible. Made that possible. Be glorified, Lord, Be glorified, in the name of Jesus. Name of Again, Father, Father. Thank, you Thank you for the dawn of, of a new day, month, month and, quarter. and quarter. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, for the gift of life and breath that made that possible. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine to ten, the Bible says, "But as, as it is written." I has not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit, for the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. He said in Ephesians chapter 3 and in verse 20, he said, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. God is about to show us and cause us to experience in this coming month, in this new month, what we haven't seen before. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the possibilities, for the possibilities we, have we have seen in the past month. Thank, thank you also thank you for also the incredible, incredible possibilities, possibilities ahead of us in this new month. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for the possibilities we have seen in the past month. Thank you also for the incredible possibilities ahead of us in this new month. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name Amen. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 24 to verse 25 The Lord of hosts has sworn saying Surely as I have thought So shall it come to pass Amen. And as I have proposed So shall it stand to do what That I will break the Assyrian in my land And upon my mountains tread him underfoot Then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden shall depart from off your shoulders. Every devil that is contending with the work and the agenda of God in your life, God will break their shoulders tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 14, he said, Now thank you to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ 
and make it manifest the of his knowledge by us in every place. Lift your voice and pray after me and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you because your acts your and, plans and plans are never at the mercy of, of the wickedness of the devil. We bring into defeat instantly every satanic agitation, antagonism, and confrontation of your works in our midst and in our lives. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Father, thank you. Father, thank you because your acts and plans are never at the mercy of the wickedness of the devil. We bring it to defeat instantly. Every satanic agitation, antagonism, and confrontation of your works in Amis. Lord, in the name of Jesus. We bring them into instant defeat, instant defeat, instant defeat. What you are doing in my life, what you are doing in Tunamis, what you are doing globally is never at the mercy of the wickedness of the devil. We bring it to defeat instantly. Every satanic agitation, antagonism, confrontation of your works in our midst, Lord. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. No mountain shall be able to stand before you in this quarter. Amen. No mountain shall be able to stand before you in April. Amen. In Zechariah chapter 4 and in verse 7, the Bible said, Who art thou, O great mountain, before Paul and Entry? Thou shalt become a place. Call your name. One to go. Everybody read it together. One to go. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Paul and Enche, thou shalt shall become a plain, and it shall bring forth the headstone. Thereof with shoutings crying, grace, grace unto it. Say after me, say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new month, this new quarter, with the grace and health of the Spirit to level all mountains, standing my way in this season, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new, day, this new month, this new, month, this new quarter, this new quarter with, the with the grace and the help and the of the Spirit, the spirit to, level to level all mountains, mountains standing my way in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name the Lord had an answer us in Jesus name I'd like you to get ready for new things we are at the beginning of a new month. Get ready for new things and new beginnings. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. He said, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Amen. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Somebody shout a loud amen. amen. See after me, say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of new things, new things and new beginnings. And new beginnings. Every, negative Every negative agenda, agenda of the past. The expires expires rapidly, rapidly in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of new things, of new things and new beginnings. New beginnings. Every, negative Every negative agenda, agenda of the past, of the past expires, expires now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, the Lord had an answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Deuteronomy 33 and in verse 13 to verse 16. Higher. And of Joseph, he said, Blessed of the Lord be his land for the precious things of heaven, for the dew, for the deep that coucheth beneath. And for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon. Every new moon, every new month, we call it new moon, 
in the in the locally. Every new moon, every new month came with precious things. Every rising of the sun came with precious things. Mashataka, that's every new day. And for the chief things of the ancient mountains, for the precious things of the lasting hills, and for the precious things of the earth and the fullness thereof, and for the goodwill of him that, that dwelt in the bush. Let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. So the blessing of Joseph is the blessing of getting the precious things of the earth daily. Getting the precious things of the month monthly. Getting the precious things from nature and creation. The blessing of Joseph is coming upon you in this new season. This is the first time we are making this particular declaration and it shall be fulfilled in your life. Lift your voice and say, Father, I take full delivery of the blessing of Joseph in this season. I receive all the blessing packaged into this season through all of nature and creation for me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I take full delivery of all of the blessing of Joseph in this season. I receive all the blessings packaged into this season through all of nature and creation for me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 16 and in verse 19, the Bible said, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, Father I, ask I ask for the cooperation, for the cooperation of, the of the earth and heavens, and heavens in, response in response to the prayers, to the prayers offered, offered from, this from this altar in this season, in this, season, in this day. In this day. Lord, in the name Lord, of Jesus, Jesus, say again, Father, Father I, ask I ask for the cooperation, for the cooperation of, the of the earth and the heavens, and the heavens in, response in response to the prayers, to the prayers offered, offered from, this from this altar in this season. In this season. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us. Shout the Lord and say, Amen. Matthew chapter 6 and in verse 9 to verse 10. You see, after this man, and therefore pray, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come means your throne, be, your, 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 your kingdom be enthroned. And the kingdom of darkness be dethroned. In this season, it shall happen. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, dethrone we dethrone the rule, the rule and the reign, and the reign of, evil of evil and wickedness, and wickedness in this new month. And establish the rule and the reign of the Almighty in our lives, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, we dethrone the rule and the reign of evil, of wickedness in this new month, and establish the rule and the reign of the Almighty in this season, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth up. in the name of 
of Jesus. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight we are going to dethrone every witchcraft altar. Occultic, diabolic, and central altar of bondage, of captivity, of setbacks, of battles in this new season. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 5, the Bible said, but you shall deal with them. Somebody said, deal with them. Deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire. Amen. That is what we are about to do to all the altars. In Matthew chapter 15 verse 13, the Bible said, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted off. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, release we release your judgment, your judgment of, fire of fire on every witchcraft, occultic, diabolic, diabolic, or ancestral, ancestral altar, altar of bondage, of bondage captivity, captivity, setbacks, setbacks battles, 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 distractions, battles, disease, disease, or death. Or death. We, declare we declare them roasted by fire. fire. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Again, Father, we release your judgment of fire on every witchcraft, occultic, diabolic, or ancestral altar of bondage, captivity, setbacks, battles, distractions, disease, or death. We declare them roasted by fire. Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in the name of Jesus. You are saying amen, say louder, amen. First Kings chapter 19, verse 7 to verse 8, it says, And the angel, angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat. That's the base of our communion tonight. Because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb, the mountain of God. We are receiving fresh energy, fresh strength, stamina and wisdom for the season, for April and for the quarter. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, receive I receive fresh, fresh supernatural, supernatural strength, 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 energy, energy stamina, stamina, and wisdom and for the journey, for the journey of, this month, of this month as well as, well as, this, quarter. as this quarter. Oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, receive I receive fresh, fresh supernatural, supernatural strength, 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 energy, energy stamina, stamina, and wisdom, and wisdom for, the for the journey of this month as well as this quarter. Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead open your mouth and pray. In Jesus precious name the Lord had an answer us in Jesus name Ezekiel 36 and in verse 37 and he said thus say the Lord I, I will be yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them I will increase them with men like a flock. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, inquire we inquire of you, of you that you will multiply us multiply with, men with men as a flock. flock. Through this prayer Through altar, this prayer altar in, salvation in salvation and discipleship. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, inquire we inquire of you, of you that, you that you will multiply us multiply with, with men as a flock. As a flock. Through this prayer Through altar, this in salvation, salvation and discipleship. Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mind up. Le 
In Jesus' precious name, the Lord has answered us in Jesus' name. The prayer the devil didn't want us to pray, we have prayed it. And declarations are coming. And God will change our story. Go ahead and let's celebrate God for the next one minute. Go, 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 go. You are highly lifted up, Lord. You are highly lifted up, Lord. You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful, Lord, in praises. shout of praise. Hallelujah. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Father, we give you the praise and we give you the honor. Hallelujah. Very quickly, a couple more testimonies and then we proceed in the personal supplications. Above testimony from Abigail, above only, that is my place. I want to appreciate God for his goodness and mercy over my life and family. On the 31st December 2023, I decided to attend Dunamis Church for the crossover to 2024 for the first time. While the service was going on, the senior pastor asked us to write what we didn't want to follow us into 2024. I quickly picked my pen and paper and wrote mine down. To the glory of God, everything I wrote down on that paper checked back to hell. Hey! Immediately, the senior pastor and another pastor started burning what we wrote. I felt something detaching itself from me. I couldn't stand on my feet. I had to sit down. And after that, I felt a cold sensation all over my body. At that point, I knew the Holy Spirit has taken over my body. Brethren, the spirit of masturbation and pornography was checked back to hell after that encounter. It's almost three months now. And I have no such, no urge for such evil act. Evil shadow that comes to press me at night. Spirit husband, pain on the left breast. Also, all sent back to the pit of hell. Glory! What a faithful God visited Abigail, cleared everything. Tonight, I, 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 I decree everything that is not of God in your life is cleared back to hell as well. Let's go. Next, Sister UI from Abuja. Calvary greetings, commanded in my prayer. Family, God is here. Oh, I have been battling with diabetes, believing God for my divine healing. Along the line, I had a wound on my leg. The wound has refused to heal. Even with all the treatment, the wound was going deep and deep. Devil brought in the fear of amputation. Until my word on the 3rd of March, 2024, when Dr. Paul, Pastor Paul and Nature made a declaration that there's someone with a deep sore on the leg due to diabetes, with a fear of amputation, which has refused to heal, and that he commanded a sore to dry up now. Hey! I shouted aloud, amen, I thank God, all through that night. Brethren, that was it. I woke up in the morning. The deep sore had closed up. Jesus! After some days, everything cleared completely. Still amazed. I know that that same God that started it will perfect more testimonies in my life. Amen. It is done. Picture. And <sighs> See the pictures? One, two, three. See the current state? Down on the left. All you could see, just a slight scar to show that the wound was there before. The pictorial progress of the leg. Give the Lord a bigger clap and a louder shout of praise. The faithful God we serve. Hallelujah. Declaration. 
somebody with a diabetic foot as if you have to have diabetic already but the leg has sore that is failing to heal you won't be amputated right from this moment I declare it is dried up give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise hallelujah above only greetings this is J.E. from Finland above only greetings to all commanding the day me night prayer warriors and crew members I want to give glory to God Almighty for the faithful for his faithfulness in my life few months before the commencement of command the I prayer I had an encounter in the dream of the night where pastor Paul and Encher said to me that thing you are searching everywhere for is here Wow pointing right to where he was standing so I started being serious and following programs whenever I was free then before I know it <coughs> command the I prayer started and I started following as well before then, I always saw myself in the village, pursued, oppressed, molested, attacked, and followed by demonic beings. I've had three miscarriages as a result of demonic attacks. One day, I saw my late father in the dream telling some people, and pointing at me, look at her, catch her. I think he meant it was my enemy. Enemies turn. But glory to the Almighty God, I ran for my dear life. The attacks happen any time I close my, my eyes. Whenever it's midnight, precisely around 2.24 a.m., I prayed and fasted and complained here and there, but all to no avail. Hey, thank God since the commander day, I've had several victorious encounters. But then, on the 25th of March, senior pastor mentioned my case and said, someone is a victim of demonic visitation, especially between 2 to 3 a.m. every night. And your father was like a native doctor and so diabolic, and he said, that demonic visitation is over. Hey, truly my father was not a native doctor, but native doctors were better, better than him. He was so diabolic. He was the one appeasing the God for the community, especially during New Year Festival. That is worse than native doctor. My younger brother died so mysteriously. My mother and my elder brother died all of liver problems. Oh my God. Younger brother, mother, elder brother. After that declaration, I felt something left me and I have not experienced such demonic decision again. Glory to the Almighty God. I believe that my family and I have been set free forever in Jesus' precious name. Somebody shout the loudest. Amen. Somebody is a victim of demonic visitation. 2 to 3 a.m. every night. A visitation of terror. A visitation that is almost bordering on death. You are afraid to sleep because you know that cycle is always maintained. Tonight will be the first night where you will not have that evil visit. Wherever that altar, where they send that devil to terrorize you at that time of the night. I said, Gayana. I said that altar. Oh, yeah. Your father is, your father was almost like a, a native doctor. <laughs> almost like the person I'm talking about. Your father was so diabolical that himself was almost like a native doctor. <laughs> You are struggling to know God, struggling to pursue God, but it's not working. Every, every night, 2 to 3 a.m., visitation. In the name that is above every name, I speak to somebody here today. Every evil visit that is your experience at that kind of time or any time of the night at all, you are afraid to sleep. Tonight, the evil visit is over. Over forever. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Anyone here whose father is even more terrible than native doctors, I declare that that spell is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Doris, and, and that was from Finland. I have a very good friend in Finland, uh, Juha Ketula. I'm sure you'll watch this one of these days. God bless you. Now let's go. Doris from Enugu State, above only greeting to the entire Commander Demi Night Prayer Crew. I am testifying of what God did in my life by healing me of breast cancer. Breast cancer, incredible. Glory be to God Almighty. In May 2022, I discovered that there was a lump on my breast and I decided to go to the hospital to check. So after seeing the doctor, he told me to come back for a biopsy to know if it, is if it was just a lump or something more serious. So after the procedure, the result was out and the doctor told me that it was not just a lump but cancerous. He told me that they may cut off my left breast to prevent it from spreading to the right breast. I prayed to God Almighty to help me. 
So God connected me to a woman living in Abuja who linked me up with a midnight prayer altar and I started following, following it. To cut a long story short, I started following the prayer and after a while, I decided to go for a checkup in the hospital. After the checkup in the doc the checkup, the doctor told me that there was no lump in both breasts and there was no cancer in both breasts. Glory be to God Almighty. Result picture attached. Before clinical details, provisional diagnosis, left breast cancer, the history is left breast lump. For two months, the mass is irregular and hard. Specimen consists of firm to hard mass measuring two by two by 0.5. Cut section is grayish white and hard. Microscopy histologic sessions show an infiltrative malignant epithelial prol proliferation. Within the breast tissue, the contour cells are arranged in white solid islands, glandular structures, and individual infiltrating cells. The tumor cells are highly pleomorphic and high hyperchromatic nuclei. There is moderate stromal fibrosis and dense mixed inflammatory infiltrate in response to the invading tumor cells. Before this present. Le left breast lump invasive ductal carcinoma of no special type in situ. This was Dr. Uzoigwe Chukuma, consultant pathologist. Ne results after. This was bilateral sonomammogram. Find it. Both breasts showed a fibrogram lab breast, breast pattern. Bi bilateral nipples are in profile. No obvious focal breast mass. Lump or lesion is seen in both breasts. No evidence of any axillary lymphadenopathy. No evidence of any calcification. No evidence of any architectural distortion. Conclusion. Bilateral normal sono sonomammogram. That is normal breast ultrasound. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. What a faithful, faithful, faithful God we serve. Stand up on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Ah, hey, this guy God, another one on the Appreciate him. We are going before him for the next one minute, 30 seconds. I appreciate him for mind blowing testimonies and then present your applications. If you have that list of your expectations for the next for this month or for the quarter, you can present that before him as well. Thank you, Father.
Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Lord. Go ahead and be up, standing, hands lifted, and let's appreciate God. Sing with me, how great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Lift your hands high. I see it particularly. Tonight, you can present your expectation, your goal, your vision for April, for the next quarter before that. The Bible said, delight yourself in the Lord your God. And it gives you the desires of your heart. I decree today the desires that are on the table of your heart for this season. They are released in the name of Jesus. I see particularly the Lord bringing people out of the cage, out of captivity, out of bondage, breaking the cage, that which trapped your life, trapped your destiny, trapped your finances, trapped maritally, trapped cage financially. Caged in ministry, caged in destiny, caged in vision. I declare the cage is broken. It is one thing to walk in the daytime and walk into spider web. It's another thing altogether for spider to find his way into your drink. You felt it on your face before you can know what it is already in your, in your drink, in your food. Demon. 
Lord, what kind of a mystery is this? It is a mystery of life roped, life tied, life chained, and the mystery was being manifested physically. I declare today, and that experience I mentioned was your experience. And I declare today that yoke is broken. God will expose the mystery to you in the dream of the night, in the vision, where you will see that agenda of the cage, the cage, the cage, the trap, the net that the devil has set for you, set on fire. Somebody else you dreamt in the dream. Maybe I don't, someone else. You saw a little animal like rabbit or something trapped and struggling to run out but it's just trapped and that voice told you in that dream that that was you that the devil trapped and everyone in that category where you see the trap and the cage and mashata kalakata parato Wherever there was that altar that was set up to trap your life and trap your destiny, the altar is set on fire. Anything belonging to you that has been tied down, including yourself tied down, that chain is broken right now. This first week of April, the first seven days, you will see the releases. Again, it's being repeated. The releases, releases of jobs, releases of appointment letters, releases of contracts, releases of mobilization monies, releases of your monies tied down in six zeros, seven zeros, eight zeros, nine zeros. Hey! And the things belonging to you that the devil has tied down. The latter satatata. IDU, Maos, Talo, Firo, not Salani, Tialo, Kokoja, Rekeste, Telayala, Lala, Stora, Dayala. The charm, the poison, whatever it is that the devil fired into your system, I do you, is retrieved, refired back to hell. It's retrieved, refired back to hell. I do you, either the full name, you do, either the full name or part of the name. That poison, that, 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 that arrow fired into your system, that charm is retrieved and refired back to hell. And I speak to someone here today, let the power. They say they wanted you to die, you refuse to die. So they want to make your life miserable. I declare today, the arrow is retrieved back to hell. Someone else they said, if they can't kill you, they'll make you to suffer. They'll just, just, just keep on suffering and struggling for survival. The struggle is over forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone with a joint that has what they call subluxation. It's a medical word and this and this is more like a, a, a dislocation that is not complete. It's partial. But there is very, very, very terrible pain. Very terrible pain in that joint. I declare today, as you sleep overnight, you wake up. That joint is relocated. It is, it is, it is one of the joints of the leg. I command it relocate. Relocated, 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 relocated back to normal without any orthopedic procedure. Relocated. The pain is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. And everyone who is watching, maybe yours is the shoulder. I command it return back right now. The clavicle of somebody. I command it return back right now. You couldn't do this before. Do it right now. In the name of Jesus. And you will take the picture or your video of yourself. Do it like this and send them to us. In the name of Jesus. I take authority over the enemy plan to tear apart your life, tear apart your family, tear apart your home. And it's a diabolic spell, that's right. It's a diabolic spell and also an ancestral curse, an anti-marital power. 
that is fighting you. Today that power is broken. In the name of Jesus, that power is broken. That curse is broken. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I see somebody else. The Lord is showing me how you got married. And a man who wanted to marry you, who wanted to marry you, that couldn't marry you. Say, let's see how your marriage will work. And this man went diabolical. He was shocked. He was shocked that you got married in the first place. And then you see that attack all the time in your dream of the night attacking you and is affecting your marriage in the physical hostility between you and your husband today i declare that wild wind is retrieved and refired back to hell in the name of jesus 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 somebody shout power the lord heals the loss of appetite anorexia whether on his own or of chronic illness, it's a spirit of death. I arrest that spirit of death. I curse you to try right now. Lose your grief from that man, from that woman. Return back to hell from where you came. And God just gave us an evidence of the healing of the cancer. I curse every trace of cancer in the body of everyone connected, including your relations, your loved ones, your brothers, your sisters. Liver cancer, lung cancer, prostatic cancer, breast cancer, every form of skin cancer. I curse it to dry and die. Return back to hell in the name of Jesus. I hear confield and I pray for someone who is involved. He like to say Ferrata Kada Galala. Whether it's middle scale or large scale, make a nice famine of grain. Let the frita sada. I declare the release of the blessing of God upon that, upon that, upon what you do. And I declare the arrest of the agenda of the devourer to destroy the work of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree it is so. In the name of Jesus, I hear the name of Mabel. Mahushata Kaladina Magaratosaru. Yota Latefena Galala. And then I hear a name again like Oscar. Leko Paratasa. Whether it's husband and wife or brother and sister. Letos Perona Kalatena Kalatorani Kakazalisto. Jato Rapapata Kalakakalala. Jata Latata. That altar must defeat to the altar of manipulation. The altar of confusion. The altar of stagnation. Again, the altar that ties you down anti-maritally. I declare that altar is set on fire in the name that is above every name. Let to separatana galayatana gagalahurato la 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 la. The altar of reproductive system attack. I declare it arrested right now in the name of Jesus. I declare your freedom and your release. And everyone, everywhere you are connected. An ancestral curse that is fighting your marriage, fighting fruitfulness in your family, in your father's house, is broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord showed me someone that has a mental condition. Normally in every way until he starts talking, until he starts behaving. And then you know, I mean, well-dressed, just normal until he talks and, and then you know this man is off senses. But he has refused to be treated. He said, you are the one that something is wrong with, not him. In the name that is above every name. In the name that is above every name. Life tied down. Immobilizing every realm. Immobilizing every realm. Age is increasing but nothing else is changing. I take authority over that mental condition. I command the yoke is broken. I declare liberty. 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 He sleeps in the night. He wakes up. And mind is back to normal. In the name of the Father. And of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. You are free. Somebody with an arrow on the right hand side of the chest, fire on the breast. I declare that fire retrieved back to hell. Whether it's a cancer, whether it's a whatever it is, it's retrieved and refired back to hell. Now, tonight there will be diverse supernatural divine visitations. God will visit you. God will change stories. God will, God will remove dark blankets and, 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 and remove marks from the faces of several people. Low spirit, disconnect you from spirit husband and spirit wife and nashtata and the spirit of masturbation and bedwetting. Leko parata sana tonight and your freedom is released. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Adonai. In Jesus' name. I pray upon the communion. 
the meal for the journey, energy for the journey, strength for the journey, wisdom for the journey. And in addition to that, whatever my Father in heaven has not planted in your body, I declare it is flushed out in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say a loud amen. You are saying amen, say the loudest amen. You are saying amen, say the loudest believers amen. I declare the release, the release, the release of strength, release of energy, release of wisdom, and the flushing out of whatever is not of God. Sickness, disease, affliction, pain. Go! Jesus' name. And when you are there, 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 there is no need to worry, there is no need to fear. The battle may be raging, but the victory is shown. When you are there, when you are there, when you are there, when you are there. Before we take that communion anywhere you are, in need of surrender to Jesus, you need your sins forgiven. You pray this prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. Forward, ever backward, never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Give us details that you made, made, made your ways right with God today. And the Lord bless you. I pray also on the hands. And I declare that the harvest will look for you. From the north, the south, the east, and the west. What is yours? No devil shall keep back. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody say a loud amen. As we take the communion and so forth, giving details will be on the screen so that it can, can be easy for you to give as the Lord enables you. United Kingdom, your time is next week. Thursday, Friday, and we are off Saturday. Inform all your friends, rush and register. Register your friends and loved ones and ensure that everybody is a part of this. If you don't know how to register, our brethren will assist you. The climate is gathering over the United Kingdom. The reign of the supernatural, the glory of his presence will be evident there. God bless you. And Kenya and Ethiopia also get ready for next month, which is already the month of May. From now on, almost every month, April, UK, May, Kenya, June, Canada, July, America, and so on and so forth. Just keeps on going on literally every month. Ensure that you are a part of this. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Go ahead and take that communion celebratiously. As I think about my life, as I think about your love. That has brought me to this point in my life. I am full of assurance that my life is in your hand. So I come to worship you, oh Lord. As I think about my life, as I think that has brought me to this point. I am full of a soul. I am full of a soul. And my love is in you. And my life is in you. So I've come to worship you. So I've come to worship you. Oh, Lord. Turn upon your feet and give you the praise. Father, we give you the praise and give you the honor. Tomorrow, we are connecting with the oil of favor for the season. How many of you need favor for the season? We need the oil of favor for the season. That means there's going to be an anointing, a release of the oil of favor for the season. 
you will never know rejection. April, you will never know rejection. You will never know what they call bad luck. In the name of Jesus. Inform friends, inform loved ones, inform family, and let us go on on this fire revival altar. Again, send in your testimonies. We saw a very drastic testimony of the rescue of a child the other day from, from um, Zimbabwe or so, from the, what I said. If you sent in your testimony before and you notice it has not been read and, you are, and it's a testimony that is so drastic, you know it will help somebody. Please resend it. We have thousands upon thousands of testimonies unable to go through all of them. Just resend again and I believe that the Lord will help us. God bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you in Jesus' precious name. 2024 and above only, proceed above only in Jesus' name. Celebration. When just a moment. Is... Arthritis, just before we close. Involving the fingers that cannot bend. Today, it is gone to hell in Jesus' name. God bless you. Go ahead. When hopelessness is in place For the people of the world You remain my confidence In this life When they say they are cast down I say there's a lifting up So I've come to worship you Oh Lord I have come this day to say You are, you are, you are. 